hello everyone. Hello and welcome back. It's Final Fantasy X, folks. Uh, I am the Black Shadow, and uh, well, I, su uh, I suppose we better get cracking on pretty quickly, folks. Um, last time, uh, we managed to succeed in the Omega Ruins, folks, after initially taking on uh, the, the ultimate weapon, we uh, went in cl even deeper into the ruins, encountered Omega himself, all one million HP of him, had uh, a heck of a fight, folks, and managed to come out on top, which is fantastic. Uh, and so we managed to bring to an end uh, the, the only optional uh, dungeon in the main game. Uh, which is nice, it's one thing we can tick off the list, folks. Now, today's video, I said we were going to be heading off to Barge Temple. And we will be doing that, although I've just been here at the um, arena. Doing a little bit more fighting, folks. Um, just a little bit. Uh, not got anything new particularly. Just been playing around with some stuff. Trying to get hold of uh, what I can. I don't think I've got any more particularly new equipment. I've got a hold of that, I think, like for all and uh, that, which I was using at some point. Um, and obviously just the general, general stuff, you know, but I don't think I've got any more particularly new equipment for anyone. Yeah, apart from that, that might be handy. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Let's get back to the airship. Um, the reason I come here as well is because I had unlocked a couple of new enemies in the arena, folks. Um, some we are able to fight, some we're certainly not able to fight right now, but, uh, we're not heading to arenas. That will be in a later video, folks. So, let's head on over to Barjan, shall we? So, we've been here twice already, but we've not done the main thing. Here we, go. we came here the first time when we were solving our bed riddles. The second uh, time we arrived, of course, was to uh, get hold of the Onion Knight for Lulu and taken on uh, Geos Gano. But we haven't actually headed inside the temple itself, folks, so I suppose we really ought to do that. So. Let us head northwards. To access the temple, um, you, you've got to trigger the Geos Gano fight and, and, and beat that, obviously. And then, you must head inside. Which is the little green dot on your mini-map. So when you do defeat Geos Gano and, um, do make it inside Barge Temple, you can see what on earth has been hiding here this whole time. Luckily we can get up for some air out here, which would be very useful. Ugh. Man, look at this place. This place is a mess. Absolute ruins. Hmm, what's this though? Fire? Hmm. Like something is certainly inside. What is this? Hmm. Six treasures lie within six temples. Open every chest within each cloister of trial. Then stand before this statue and open the way to the chamber of the faith. Yes, folks. This temple houses a chamber of the faith, folks. And maybe, just maybe, there might be a special prize waiting for us out um, inside. However, we must first break this seal. Now, as we've been going through the game, we have been um, completing the closest trials we have. And we have been getting hold of the treasures inside, which we have been doing via the destruction spheres. Now, what we need to do is go to each of these statues and they will activate. You'll recognize the symbols that are up here. So this is from, uh, this is Makalania Temple, I think. I think that one's at Makalania Temple. This one, I believe, is Jose. Yep, from the Thunder Element, you can see there's a Jose sphere. Head on down here. This one, I believe, is Killika Temple, and there's a treasure chest hiding there as well. Very nice. We'll grab hold of our treasure. 
whatever this is. Ooh, hello, Mega Elixir. Should be one down here as well. Which, uh, four Mega Phoenixes. Real nice. And this one we act activate as well. This is, um... Oh, no, is this Makalania? No, sorry, folks. This is the Makalania Temple. And the one over here, I believe this is Bevel, actually. I do apologise. So we've got all the four of these. However, there are two statues we need to look at. Um, and that is, there is one here. And there is one here. There are two statues that will not activate. Hmm. So what two temples are missing, folks? Well... Uh, one of them is the uh, the Xanakun Foister Trials. Now, you cannot actually get the Destruction Sphere on your first visit to there before you fight Unlesco, folks. In order to get hold of uh, that Destruction Sphere, you must revisit the Cloister. Um, the other one is the Besaid uh, Temple, which I should have got hold of. Um... I, I should have got that when we were first there, and I was kind of looking to get hold of it, and then it kind of just escaped my mind, and I went and carried on with the game. So we haven't got hold of that Destruction Sphere either. This one is not a problem. This one... Um... Quite a big problem. Uh, we can revisit the Cloister. Um, we can head back into the Sade Temple. We can redo the Cloister Trials if we want to, in order to get hold of the... Um, to, you know, to get into the, the chamber or whatever else and get hold of the uh, destruction sphere that we missed. But there is a problem with doing this, which I will be addressing later on in this video. And for people who have played this game, they may well know exactly what that problem is. But we will find a way to sort it out. Uh, so, with four temples done at least, um, we still need to um, deal with the last two. So, um, in order to break this seal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back um, to the Xanakund uh, Cloister of Trials, folks. Like I say, you must head back there after the events and with Unaleska and all that um, in order to get hold of the Destruction Seer here. You cannot get it um, otherwise. So don't worry about that. Right, so, let's get out of here. I could do this off screen, but I, I really don't care. Tidus is shaking himself dry like a dog again. I've never quite seen another human being do that before. But is he human? Oh. Anyways! So, let us make our way to trials. Now to do that, um, unfortunately we have to do a little bit of travelling. The closest we can go. get is the Xanakun Ruins folks and we can go to the um, uh, where we had the campfire scene. Uh, that's the closest we can get folks. And I think, oh you're kidding me right? Have we got to walk all the way to the bloody dome, go through there and all that? Well, you can do if you want, actually, and it might not be bad for a bit of experience and levelling, but I've already done that, to be fair. Uh, thankfully, um, just like in um, uh, Mount Gagazet, these little transport pads are now available, folks, so we can take a trip to straight to the dome. Um, I think this is the way we want to go, this one. Not the easiest one to use, unfortunately. Right, so that will take us here to the beginning of the dome. Do not walk forward and go through the... Well, you can do if you want, but if you go back, you can actually go straight into the corridor. And also note the uh, the Fahrenheit sitting there, which is quite cool. You can see that will take us right here, folks. So past all the fighting, it's really nice. So head on back up. Proceed back into the Thorsh of Trials. Hmm. So the question now remains what do we need to do to actually get hold of our destruction seer, folks? I mean, usually there's a bit of a clue, 
um, as you're going through. You, there's something that seems missing. But, you know, we went through this and pretty much did everything we needed to. So, you know, what could be missing this time? Hmm. We just died. Okay, then. Let's have a look around, folks, shall we? So, that's not working anymore. We know that. So we can light up. That's great. It, oh. Hmm. You can also, if you want to, you can um, recall this. And you can revisit um, the dome area where we um, fought in Aleska. You can do if you want, but we're not doing it right now because we will die. Um, so just so you know, you, we can do that. No, we're here for the for the um, for the uh, structure. So, what exactly is it that we need to do here, folks? Let's, let's, let's look at things. We can step on all these tiles. Now, the thing is, if we step on this one, you see, it's like you know, it dies, and it all kind of turns off, you know, and it just turns itself straight off doesn't look quite right, but stand on one of these white ones. Notice how nothing happens. You see, folks, unlike the first time where we had to colour in all these coloured tiles as necessary and uh, miss all these white ones because they were never part of the puzzle, it's the complete opposite this time. We must light every single white tile set and not light any others in the game. The problem is, you now have to remember where all the white tiles are. This is a problem. But this is what we need to do. So I say, if you step on a wrong tile, you must restart. I think these are. I think both of those are, are false. Hmm. How on earth am I meant to remember this? That's white. Remember, there are white ones as well in the other area. Let's leave those for now. Let's head back in here. See if we can't get some more clues. Now, this one was white. There's still more. That one's white. Oh, that's five. I think there could well be seven. Or oh, there's six or seven of them. Oh, that was a fluke! Whoa, my goodness. I didn't even mean to step on that. That was a fluke. Wow, that was lucky. Right, I am pretty darn sure the rest of these are, um, we don't want to step on. So, let's leave all those. Now, one of these is a fake, or white set, and it's one of these ones around here, and I can never remember which ones. Could be this one. It is! Yes, you little genius. So you see now all of them will gradually light up. Find all seven, and then this will appear here. I cannot believe I got that on my first proper try. That is extraordinary. So we head into here, and you'll find there's a destruction sphere here, which we need to take. Problem is, where the hell do we put it? Well, fortunately, this time around, there aren't many options as to where it needs to go. The only places we know spheres go are these. Place that into here. There's your destruction glyph. There is your treasure in the Xanakundu. I did not think we'd get it that easily. 
And you get the Magistral Rod there, which is uh, quite nice. What has that got for um, for you? Half MP? Wow, that's not bad. Half MP cost. Until we can get the Nirvana completely sorted out, that's, that is good. That we can easily um, boost up um, with, uh, with this sort of stuff here. Can easily give it some of the, the magic stuff. We've got access now to a magic plus 20% and strength plus 20%. I uh, got some supreme gems from one of the things I unlocked, folks. Supreme gems are awesome, and you can see the effect here. We are going to get magic plus 30% on this, I'm pretty sure. I, might, mm, I don't know. Do I need magic plus 30% on it? I don't know, actually. He's a supreme. Gem. Well, I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll um, I'll decide that then. I'll decide that. Then. But anyways, so there is the the Zanakund, uh, the Zanakund Dome Treasure. Like I say, so at this point, if you want to, you can now head down the lift here. You can go back to where um, uh, we fought you in Leska. That is where Tidus's um last uh sun uh token, the sun crest is hiding. But the problem is I have to get past one of the tougher super bosses in the game to get it, and we are not really in a state to be doing that. So fortunately, I'm gonna have to leave it there for now. Well well it'll be pretty easy to come back here. Be fair, it's not a disaster that I can't get at the moment. I mean Tidus wouldn't be able to make proper use of the um a fully upgraded um, Calad Bog, Calad Bog at this moment, so it's not a disaster. Why am I doing that? I need to go into the airship. There we are, lovely. Ah, oh, Sonic, come on then, folks. We got them for a reason. Magic. Plus 20%. Oh, lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, magic plus 10 as well. I'll tell you what, be watching her magic be going absolutely through the roof. Do I need that much magic? Is the question. Well, the thing is, if you don't need that much magic, what else are you going to put on it? Hmm. Could do. I, uh, again, a few of these. I, I got hold of several of these from uh, one of the fights in the uh, in the the arena, folks. You can get turn spheres as, as a common drop, which is really awesome. I could do that. First strike. Thing is, she's usually pretty quick on the draw, though. I don't really think that's necessary. Uh, I'd love to give a magic boost, but we need more turn weapons. Yeah, I'll keep it by for now. We'll see how we go. Just save the game quickly as well. Because I do want to be saving the game before we do what we're about to do next, folks. And that is to try and head back to Sade Island. So we can uh, get hold of the last remaining sphere. I can bet some people watching this video have got a grin on their face right now. And you are completely justified. For those of you who do not know why... Do not fear, all will become very clear. That wasn't quite meant to rhyme, but it did. So, what we need to do is walk our way back to, um, to Besaid Island, folks. Or to Besaid Village, I should say. So let's go do that. We're going to go do it on the screen, because we get to hear some nice peaceful music. And also show just how ridiculously OP our party is right now. Kind of prefer, not my, I prefer X2's version, which is actually what I put on a, an update video not very long ago. It was actually Final Fantasy X2's version of uh, of uh, the Sade Island. Just so you know. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I also went and got hold of lots of um, of the spheres, like the, the Power and the speed spheres could be really, really low on them. I went and just uh, 
Did a little bit of fighting, sort of um, capturing more enemies um, than I need to for the arena. Off screen, so we've now got uh, a nice map. <sighs> really, really think you need to be doing this? Because I kind of don't. There we go. I tell you one person who probably could do actually with um, getting their uh, celestial weapon is probably going to be Walker. Actually, he is regularly hitting nine 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 nine. So I really need to go and do the blitz ball to get hold of the Jupiter Crest, um, which means I need to do some uh, recording of uh, me doing some blitz ball because we're going to be doing that at the same time. Because um, I said I was going to do a season of blitz ball and record it. Um, because we've got the uh, the status reels have become first try, so I really want to get hold of that. Um, so we also need to get the Jupiter Crest as well. So uh, it just means I got to sit down and do a blitzball season, which shouldn't be too long. So a league's only ten games. This ain't too bad. All right then. Well, we head to the save sphere, which is um, over here. Although before we do that. Look who's here! If it isn't losing! What are you up to out here? Watching for fiends. We crusaders must protect the village. Even if we cannot defeat Sin, we do what we can. Leave Sin to us. We'll think of something. Then you should pray before you go. All who leave the island pray for Sin. Yeah, remember when we did it the first time around? Gotta always refused, though. Mm. Well then, I will too. Hey? Who needs hokey old superstitions? I won't pray, and I'll beat Sin all the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you have the spirit. Good luck. Hmm. Well, thank you, Luzu. I think I might be needing it. But, uh, anyways. Even should the temple forsake us, we will do our duty. We are the shield that guards this land. Yeah, exactly. The Crusaders may not be, um, you know, trying to defeat soon, or half of them might have been decimated back at Operation Meehen, but they can still um, do a good thing. Good, just to save the game again for purposes of, um, well, purposes that are required. So uh, let us make our way back to the same village. Let me just change my formation of touch here. I know this might be starting to look slightly suspicious, but have no fear, folks. I mean, no, no hiding of anything much. Anyways, so head back down here. Kind of hope we don't get into a fight here. Sometimes you can just get through here. The fight, the, the encounter right here is really. You should just run off. But sometimes you might still get caught in a fight. Some people just never. Yeah. So far, that you get like eight, well, eight ability points that I find so funny. Alright, so let's head back into the village then, shall we? Um, what's up with the music? Oh, it's a guy from the temple! Oh, well, greetings to you too, sir. Nice to see you to see you tonight. Say ho to Dark Veil for. Say hello to the Dark Aeons. Super bosses, 
not even originally part of this game. They were not included in the original version of this game, folks. They were only included in the uh, the PAL International and the HD versions. Upon that extent, the original ones did not have these, and for good reason. These guys are bad news. Bad, bad news. Well, effective action, pretty happy with that. Whoa! Holy mother of... Max damage?! Holy crap! Uh, Oren. You, you, you might want to get up here, we... Oh my god. Oh dear, this could be problems. Unfortunately, it really is. That still just did max damage. Say hello to the Dark Aeons. We are in trouble. Major, major trouble. He's dead. Okay, so uh, this is not a good start. Come on, give me half a turn. Come on. Come on, Veil 4. Stop using Sonic Wings! Ugh. Yeah, right, we're in for uh, some problems here. Right. Let us let's get him up. Alright. Yuna, we're bringing out the big guns nice and early here. Come on, Bahamut, you overpowered devil, you. We need all you can get here. Surely even the beast that is Bahamut can stand up to this guy. Right? Oh my... 9999 damage?! Bahamut! Oh my god. Oh my god. He can't even flee. Oh dear. It's the word you're looking for. That didn't work. We're in trouble. That didn't work. Either. Oh shit. Walkers down. Yuna's down. Oh dear. This does not look good at all. You see the problem of the Dark Aeons. These guys are not fun. We're not even getting a chance to get any attacks in here for God's sake. Someone dodge something! Do anything! This is ridiculous! Oh my god. You can't just get you in here using Phoenix Downs, but you've got another grandson with Yuna. Uh, not looking good. I'm thinking some Veil 4 and Veil 4 violence sounds like a plan. Let's show what the true Veil 4 can do. You son of a bitch. That's it, 60,000 damage, motherfucker. Energy blast. Hold on, my Veil 4 can't do this. What the? Holy 
Holy mother of... 50,000 damage! Starting to get the, the drift here, folks. Um, these guys are bad news. Dark Aeons, um... Yeah. You have got some significant problems if you're thinking of trying to beat these guys. Significant problems. Now, I mean, this guy may only have, say, I don't know, 800,000 health, which is less than um, what, uh, you know, less than what Omega Weapon might have had. The problem is the stats. There are some stats for you folks of Dark Veil for. Strength, 150. Magic, 190. Magic Defense, 220. Accuracy of 250. An evasion of only, well, evasion of only 10, oddly enough. But he's got 48 luck, so you're virtually not going to hit this guy. Apart from there, what's a shot walker? Now, if I can keep throwing, uh, if I can keep throwing, um, you know, uh, overdrives at this guy, we may have half a chance. I say may. No guarantee of that. 43,000. We've done about, I'd say, probably about 150,000 damage to this guy. Something like that. But yeah, I mean, the thing is that the stats of this guy, you can see how quickly he's taking turns down to do. Really, you need to be having stats that are about in the mid-hundreds. Did he say he used energy ray? That was our overdrive. He can use that whenever he wants. Energy ray. I mean, energy blast is a brand new overdrive. Well, I'd be can't even do that. Which is heinous. I tell you what, we're doing better than this than I thought we were. <laughs> That's a nice damage. The overdrive meter whoa, only goes up for the amount of being hit once. Oh, Kamari! Bang! He's gone. We're not doing too bad here, all things considered. We're in the fight, somehow. Man. Um, Walker's the only person who's got half a chance of hitting him. Sometimes. That's not bad. Down again. I don't know, um, have we got a Vaden Cow? Well, we do. I don't know if that's necessarily going to actually, um, work though. Yeah, see, it's not always going to hit that. Right. You have absolutely no choice but to summon an Aeon when, uh, Veil 4 is about to use Energy energy Blast. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what your stats are, it will do about 40 to 50,000 damage. So you got no chance there. Tell you what, though, this is a this is a commendable effort, and that, I'm not even just saying it because it's me. This really is a this is a brave effort against a guy that my stats should be probably about twice what they are. And I've been playing this game for 90 hours. 90 hours. Slaughtered. We're still in the fight, mind you. And as long as we're in the fight, we have half a chance. Oh, I tell you what, I need to get Riku out, actually. I have half an idea. If I can get our overdrive out. If I can get our overdrive done. Yeah, we've got the hit. Sonic Wings again. That's going for Riku. Yep, yeah, look at that. Both maxed out. Riku, because she's on stomach. Kamari's on comrade. I don't put her down again. I just brought her back up, you sick bastard. Hmm. 
throw another Anova at you. I'm gonna, I'm giving this a good damn try, folks. I, we are doing what we can. I did not think I'd get this far. We're, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Partially because he's not throwing energy ray at me for some bizarre reason. But he isn't. 40,000 damage. That's nice by my standards. Ah, missed. Sonic Wings again. It looks like it's Kamari. Yeah, Kamari is gone. Let's get Titus back out here. Can we get haste on Riku? Can we get just to get in front of... Um, we can, yes. Because we can use some mixes here. Remember what we used against the uh, Omega weapon? Hyper Mighty G? I'm thinking that's a plan. So we want a uh, Lunar Curtain, I think. And we'll use one of these amulets I've been getting hold of off screen. Or oh, Gamma Spirit should do alright. Hyper Mighty G? Mainly Auto Life. We need this. It may give us just an extra breather. It, ooh, hello. Thank you for giving me a, a straight out, um, another, uh, another bloody, um, overdrive. Oh no, Kamari's down as well. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh shit. Uh, come on, Shadow, you can do this. This is not impossible. a uh, chocobo wing here just to give us um, some haste. Oh, God almighty. We can use spare change to um, attack Veil Ball. We can use our money here. I mean like a hundred thousand gills in most we can throw seemingly. And that'll do ten thousand damage. 9999 damage, I should say. Oh, yes, we can't break the damage yet, can we? What else can we do? We need to keep, we might as well keep hold of that. Thing is, Orange's not going to get a hit, I don't think. Yep. I can live with this. Let's throw everything we got in. Run, you son of a bitch! Oh, yeah, I forgot. 220 magic defense. Oh, shit. That pants. Oh crap. Um. Right. I tell you what we're gonna do. Is I'm not gonna use an A on this time. We've got this, so we're going to use another two hyper mighty G. We have to just throw these out here. Gamma spirit, and just go on the auto life, just to get everyone back up, and just hope it works. Hope we survive. Might as well throw Nova out while we're at it. Another 40,000 damage. I don't know if I can copycat that, actually. May or may not. Can I copycat Nova? I don't, I, I don't know if you're allowed to copycat overdrives to things. Even Kamari's um, blue magic overdrives. Another 40,000 damage. I don't know why Nova does so much damage. Maybe it ignores... Um, maybe it ignores the... Uh, Maybe it knows magic defense. I don't know. So we're all going to get slaughtered here. Yeah, 50,000 damage. Lulu is... Oh, is Lulu on thingy? I think she's on... I think I left her on warrior, actually. Oops. So all life, everyone, and hope we get a turn in. Hope we get a turn. Didn't really want that happening. Come on. Give you a chance. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. That's it. Okay. This is not lost, folks. We are... As, as old Jeffrey Boycott says, you can't, you can't make runs in the dressing room. As long as they're out to bat, we can still make a difference. More Hyper Mighty G's. More Novas. This is a command.
commendable effort, Shadow. Damage. Riku's gonna get hit again. That's fine with me. I don't mind that. If it gives um, if it gives her another overdrive, and if it gives um, uh, that's fine. Lulu gets a turn now. I'll change her out. Oh, she will do in a second. I must think very carefully what I do here. Yuna, we are going to keep. I don't know what... What did I last do, folks? It was Nova the last thing I did? Oh, shit, it wasn't. Ah, oh, I thought it was. My bad. Well, it's only a Phoenix down. Right, let's get Riku back in. More Hyper Mighty Gs. More auto lights. Surely this 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 is. I tell you what, folks. I'm going to be brutally honest here. This was not meant to happen. I was meant to do this and show you how you do not have a chance at this fight at this stage. And what are we seeing? I don't know if we can copycat that though. To be fair, I don't really care. I'm throwing more money at this guy. What no? 10,000 damage. I can live with that. He's, he's, he's struggling. He's, he's struggling, folks. He's, 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 he's struggling. Surely not. Surely not. Um, I make I'm being so careful into what I do here now. I am being so careful of what I do here now. This has become deadly serious. Be. It's Riku. Okay, that's fine with me. Let it be Riku. Right, auto life. Oh, shit. Right, Titus in. Haste on her. Next, what now, Shadow? You are, come on, Shadow, you are on the brink of something you never thought you would be able to do. What are we gonna do? What do we wanna do? 10,000 more damage? Do I use the mix? We can use the mix. Actually, we can. Uh, there's another. Uh, there's another. Um, uh, there's a lot. See, with mix, there's so many things you can do with mix. There's so many combinations, so many different things that you can do. Um, and there is one. Is, I'm just quickly just bring up the list here. I, I, I honestly, this was just meant to be a joke fight, and this has turned so serious. You don't understand. What do we do now? What do I? What do I want to do? Do I attack? Do I defend? Do I... How do I attack? What do I attack with? What do we want to do, folks? I've got to... I've got to make... Make my choices here absolutely perfect. We do Sunburst. Sunburst does 20,000 damage. Guaranteed. Do 
Sunburst. It's guaranteed 20,000 damage. Do I need to keep hold of the, um... Do I need to keep hold of the auto life is the question. I don't think we do. I think we can, we can take the... I think we're going to go the aggressive from here. So, what do we want to use? We want a... Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What can we use? Um... Shit, we don't even have much proper stuff's the problem. Um, a couple of free stars will do, a couple of um oh, we don't have them. Oh, shit. Uh Supreme Gem, we could do that. What have we got? Two Supreme Gems. Two Supreme Gems, I think we'll do the trick. Yep, two Supreme Gems will do that. Sunburst. Guaranteed 20,000 damage. It's, ne it's nearly there though. Okay. Now what? Next, what do we want to do now? It's no good. Can we get Yuna in? Is Yuna on auto life? She's not on auto. Okay, we'll have kept we'll have keep Tardis in. Don't think there's anything for us to do here. We'll change weapons so that we get a turn as soon as we can after this, whatever he does. Oh god, he's using Energy Ray as well! What a decision that is! But are we going to get a turn after this? Do we get a turn? We must get a turn! Any turn! Fuck, folks, look at that. This is... This is an um, unbelievable situation here. This is an unbelievable situation. Has anyone on auto life? Lulu is on auto life. But she won't get a turn afterwards. What have we got? Ixion or Yojimbo? We can use Ixion. We can... Oh, my God. This is the problem. We can use a... Uh... I need to get a turn, though, after after it does its thing. Get your Jimbo in. Now, what I was meant to do is that you can use Zanmato against this guy and instantly kill him. I do not want that. Ideally. I want to beat this guy properly. Get a Wakazashi shot in. I don't mind. 3,000 gear will do fine. Remember, he can break the damage limit as well. His strength is absurd. Wakazashi. 22,000 damage. That's okay. Right. Yojimbo will now take Energy Blast. He will die. Which takes out my Zanmato option, just as a, a note to those watching along. Do I get a turn after this? That is the question. I absolutely must get a turn after this. I'm hoping he's used Energy Ray. That will bring down his um, turn time enough for Yuna to get a turn. She's on haste as well, remember. Give me a turn. Oh my god almighty, that was close. Right. Get Lulu in. Lulu, Mega Phoenix. Now we need Riku to get a turn. Don't use Energy Ray, please. Please, please, please. Ah, fuck it! You bastard! Oh no! Oh no! This could be over! Lulu didn't take max damage! Oh, you're kidding me! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was one hell of an effort. 
I am so glad I got to record that. There was no shame in that. What a fight. What a fight, Vale 4. What a fight. <sighs> we nearly got it, folks. We nearly got it. I tell you what. I did not think we'd get that close. I think this has got to be worth one more try, surely. I think we can do this. I... This can be done. This was meant to be just a joke fight. You know, just a, uh, a joke fight to show you, you know, I was going to just get pawned and then kind of show you that. That was close. This can be done, surely. We are trying this again. Right. We're going to set these properly now. Lulu's doesn't matter. Titus's doesn't really matter. Walker's does. Yuna's does. Riku's does. Oren's is nice to have. Kamari's is important. Right, okay. So. Triple overdrive. Okay, then. Give me a moment, folks. I'm going to sort out our party, and we're going to try this, because I think we can beat this guy. It would be an absurdity, but I think we can do it. Give me two seconds. Alright then, folks. So, uh, we have returned, and we are about to attempt something which should not even be possible. It shouldn't even be thinkable. But maybe, just maybe, we could do something special. We've done some special things on this channel. In three and a half years, this might well top the lot. Okay, so this is how everyone's going to sit out here. So, we've got Auron here with the Masamune. Um, I've got him on one health. The idea, I'm going to get him to use a uh, limit break at the start. Um, with one health, he should have maximum strength to do as much damage as we can. I don't know how much it's going to be, but we shall see. Um, Riku, um, God Hand, of course, triple overdrive. I went and got a new Targe. She has got auto haste. Cost me 80 Chocobo Wings to put that on. It was a difficult decision, but that might well be a keep. Just keep getting her in, getting those little turns here and there. It makes a huge difference. Waka, brand new weapon I got for him. A rematch, went and bought that. Um, added strength plus 20% with some Supreme Gems. Strength plus 5% was like, a Stamina tonic or something like that. Uh, we also got max health because uh, might as well. The evade encounter might be a factor. I don't know. Magical rod. Uh, I did give it the magic plus ten percent on that with the half MP cost. That might well make a difference. She's also got extra health as well for what that's worth. Titus was torn between having on the Brotherhood and having him with the Wizard Sword. Um, I don't think he's going to be doing much of either really. Um, but I've got him on that as it is. I've given some extra MP because, you know, that might just be handy if haste goes and whatever else. Uh, Kamari, triple overdrive with the Nova, of course. That is going to be main damage dealer. Uh, he's got lots of health as well, but again, for what that's worth. Lulu, um, a triple overdrive, of course. I went and got another bangle. I've given up auto shell. I was, I was quite encouraged when I saw how... She got hit by that energy ray, but she did not take full damage. That has given me some confidence. So, if I can give her that, if I can get her like on a, uh, with um, double HP and help, full of health out, she auto shell, bank defense up as well, she might just survive an energy ray. It might just keep us in a fight, it might just keep us with that one extra auto life, which we may just need. 
we'll see how we go with that. And then we're back to Auron. Everyone's overdrive, as you can see, is full. Um, everyone is on Stoic, apart from Waka and Kamari, who are not on Stoic. Um, so, I think we're about ready to give this one hell of a go. Um, any last upgrades you want to make to any of this? Not really. Um, might as well. Extra magic never hurt. Um, and Ifrit as well. Don't really want to be using any more because suddenly I run out of everything. <laughs> Jimbo has got huge strength, good defense as well, and his evasion is really high. He may just manage to um, give us a couple of agility boosts. I mean, if um, if uh, Veil 4 went for a, phys a normal physical attack on Yajimbo, we may just survive it. You never know. You never know. Let's do this. For people who have played this game before, who have taken on these Dark Aeons, they knew, like I knew, that this was folly. Pure and utter folly. The last fight was a joke fight. I was just meant to get destroyed and show you how hard it is. But I tell you what, seeing how well we did, this has got to be worth one more shot. One more round. We got so close last time. Infidel. Can we just, just get over that winning line? Can it be done? Alrighty then. Right. So. Right, so first thing we're going to do, let's say we've got the first shot of Aurum, but we're not going to use it. So let's bring in, let's bring in Tyler, shall we? Uh, let's hope we can get the haste. Yes, we can just sneak a turn in there. Walker. Now, I've had a bit of a thing about this, and I've, I've had a bit of a thought. There's, there's two ways you can go about this. Now, I know I could normally use Hyper Mighty G. The problem is, if I use Hyper Mighty G, and he just responds with Energy Ray, we're always chasing the game. We're kind of behind as it is. I mean, if we use an Energy Ray, we're dead. But if we use Hyper Mighty G and use Energy Ray, we're kind of practically half dead anyways folks so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go the other way at least to start the fight is you might as well just go ultra aggressive you know, you, you're bound to have saved the game um, you know you, you've saved the game outside if you die you die just reload come back here it takes two minutes um, and try again folks if you're in this situation so two gambler spirits is true of 9999 everything you do does 9999 damage Obviously, Walker is attack slots can do up to 12 hits. Go for it. If he's if Veil 4 is going to use Energy Ray, it's going to use Energy Ray. It's a 1 in 3 chance it will. If it does, fine. Reload. But this is not, you've got a chance to do 120,000 damage straight away. That is too much to miss. Just go for it, folks, to be honest. And if he uses Energy Ray, he does. If he doesn't, See where it leaves you. Um, because again, with, with the, at least with the attack reels, um, you know, fortunately, uh, it, it's not particularly um, long. Uh, it doesn't cause much delay. So, see, now we can say we can Phoenix down Titus. And then we just kind of. I didn't really want him to hit Titus, to be fair. But, and then you just kind of work it out as you go along. Not really sure our next move is to be fair, mind you, but um, in any event. Let's get you around. Let's use a Chocobo Wing. So you basically just got hope that he doesn't energy ray you for the first, like, three turns, basically. If he does, you're practically game over anyway, so. I think you can afford to be liberally aggressive. Um, because if he is going to kill you, he's going to kill you. Fine, that's just one of those things. So, Phoenix down. Right, okay then. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue the aggression. And we're going to use Nova now. So that'll do a nice amount of damage as well. And like I say, you know, nice and early into the fight. We've already done, what, like 160,000 damage. 
out of 800,000. You know, that's, that's a fifth of its health gone in a couple of rounds. I mean, you just got to go for it. And if it's going to use Energy Ray, then it'll do it. You know, it's just... That's just how it's going to be. So, use a Stroke Wing again. Which I know wouldn't get Kamari up, because Nova's got such a long um, recovery time. Oh, stop attacking Yuna. Why can't you just hit Riku on her own? That'd be nice. Okay, so we'll use a... Um, just use a Chocobo Feather this time. And, well, we might as well just attack. We've got there's, there's nothing to lose here at the moment. Take any opportunity you can to attack however you can. Throw whatever you can. It will completely evade its really high evasion stat. Just throw stuff at it. And by throwing stuff, it also ignores its magic stat. I do not need you doing that. I really don't want you doing that anymore, please. It's getting annoying. Let's get a warning quickly. Oh no, he can't, can he? Well, he can cast haste on himself, but I mean, that's kind of a bit irrelevant. Not really sure what to do here, actually. The Nova him again. Might as well. Kind of just a bit stuck, a bit stuck here, really. I just need him to stop attacking Yuna. Not benefiting me at all. Kind of suck if you use Energy Ray now. We've done a reasonable amount of damage actually to start with, but. You know, there's not much I can do, really. Out of my hands. So, Chug with Feather again. It's got to use it eventually. Finally, it's hit Riku on her own, which is kind of what I've been wanting it to do. So, we'll Phoenix down. And, well, it's very close to using its uh, its overdrive, actually. It's very close, but I don't know if it will. If I hit it with an, our own attack, it should be fine. So, so we'll get Veil for him. And we'll just uh, use an overdrive, and I'm hoping that'll cause it to use Energy Blast because it fill its overdrive. That's the hope. Sixty-four thousand damage. So how much damage have we already done? So it's its first round of energy bus. How much damage have we done? About two hundred and fifty thousand. Coming up to about three hundred thousand. You've got to try, folks. If it's going to use energy ray at the start, you're always struggling, anyways. You're always playing catch up, and you're probably going to run out of aeons, or it's just going to just kill you at some point. So you've got to just be aggressive for the first set of rounds. Now at this point we can now try being slightly more defensive. I say slightly as in just not utterly absurdly aggressive. There's no need to now. Um, i tell you what actually. I want to set up the defences now. Problem is, I need to get Shell on to Yuna, and she won't get it done in time, so... We'll have to leave that for the moment. We can set up on one character, at least, so it's not too bad. Um, as I say, because I know Lulu and Max Health will survive a, um, an energy ray shot. Yuna probably can as well, but might need a focus or two, just to be sure of it. And long she's got Shell as well, of course. So if we use a... Um, Stamina Tonic here. And what we'll do 
is we get Lewin. Ooh, that's bad. But it doesn't matter, I have to... Well, I've just got to heal Yuna, really. And you've just got to make sure you're not left with one person um, between turns. So, I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is going to be Titus. Okay. Fair enough. Couldn't take the risk. Be very careful. Right, so if we now focus... Energy Ray, she will survive. I'm hoping we'll have to use the auto life. Finally, it's cut, it's here. It's taken a while for it to get the first use, but I'm sure it'll be pretty liberal with it in a moment. Yeah, just about makes it. Right, so all we can do here is Phoenix down. and a Mega Elixir. All we can do is get Yuna's health back up to max. So if it wants to use, in this situation, if it uses double energy ray, then we will survive. Just. If it just physically attacks Yuna, then we can go from there. It's done neither. So again, we just go from how it is. Let's do that. Um, can I get him to... Can he just make it? Just a bounce. Good. Right, so what we're going to do is we're now going to set up Lulu. So she's ready um, for an energy ray. Uh, so she might as well just focus. Nothing else she can really do. She's on auto shell, remember? Focus. Um, then we can use a stamina tonic to boost her health up to 9999. And then, like I say, we've got the turn with Titus, so we can then uh, use a Mega Elixir. Ideally, with someone who's got auto life, I don't think anyone does. Ooh, hello. Is it going to matter much if I use someone with auto life? Well, I've got to get a turn in, remember, so... That won't work. Should really keep Riku in, because if she gets hit, then she gets the, um, the rest of her overdrive, which I do need. So, we'll use a uh, Mega Elixir um, with that, yep. Here it comes! So they'll both survive, just about. So again, Phoenix down, Mega Elixir. Sometimes this game just feels easier when your options are forced for you, to be honest. Uh, we've lost Lou, which is a shame. Right, so what we'll do, if we take Yuna out for the moment, bring in someone who's not got um, auto life, i.e. Titus. So we can get the Phoenix down in. He's already on haste as well, which is a bonus. Hyper Mighty. We're gonna have to use it this time. Gambler Spirit, there we go. Have a mighty G. And then we've also got another option of what we do now. God, I think Yuna's going to be a logical decision here. What do I... The thing is, he's always got to ask, what do you not want him to do? What do you not want it to do? 
be honest, what I would want it to do is only attack Riku, but that, that's pretty precise. It could do a lot of things, and not many of them involve just that. So, is there anything else I can do to improve those odds a bit? If I had Tidus in, oh, but the risky is there. I want, I need Unirim to, to survive an energy rate if it comes. There's only a 1 in 3 chance it'll do it, so you've just got to play the odds a bit, unfortunately. Go with Kamari. But then if I go with Kamari, what am I going to do with him? That's the problem. There's nothing he can do. Waka? Let's put on the World Champion actually for Waka, because at least give him his double overdrive. Meh. Let's only use Sonic Wings, which is interesting. So the only thing that could realistically end my game there was a double energy rate. And it's like, like a 1 in 9 it will do that, so, you know, if it does, it does. Right, so now what? Right, so if we now use a, um... So now we use a Stamina Tonic on Lulu and give her max health. So she can survive, should, should one come. An energy ray that is, of course. A bit like that. Riku will be revived. Um, I didn't check to see if Lulu's going to get a turn, though. I didn't check that. Because Riku won't. Oh God! Oh! Mega Phoenix! Hmm. What do you think, folks? I think a summon actually might be an idea. That's a bit risky. At that overdrive level as well, though, I, sh no, I shouldn't be doing that. That's asking for trouble. No, I shouldn't be doing that. That is just asking for trouble. We use our last Chocobo Feather on um, to get uh, uh, Waka going. Oh, and it's going to be Riku. Okay. So Phoenix down. Alright, so now I've got to again start thinking what is it I don't want it to do. Could try and get it to use overdrive, possibly. Not sure, what's the best course of action here? To be honest, get your cast hasten yourself. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. There we go. And just uh, play a bit of a waiting game here at the moment. Spare change, get the 10,000 damage in. Sonic Wings on Yuna. It is on Yuna. Mm. Right, okay. Now, this is interesting. It's got to be Hyper Mighty. No question of that. Or do I get... Or actually, that's all, let's, get all, let's get someone else in. Get Kamar. Oh no, Kamari's already on all her life, okay. Tardis is on all her life. Lulu?
that and Hyper Mighty? Yeah, we'll do it that way. I didn't realise Lulu was still on 9999 health, but I didn't know, so... You know, that was that handy, that option came available. Just making decisions, and again, you just... Just gotta make the, the statistically best decision you can, and just hope it's right. Just don't know what it's going to do. Mm, not a fan of it doing that. I need to stop doing that. Otherwise, we're going to start having problems. Real significant problems. And nothing we can do. Just use focus. Know what's going to be happening next turn. I think it's going for... Is that Kamari? It is Kamari. That is a good thing. As long as it wasn't Yuna, then it wasn't too bad. Right, so what we'll do, if we use a... Um, ooh, we're cutting this off, we fine. So we use a... Stamina top, stamina spring, stamina tonic even. That will get Yuna's health up to max. Don't know if she can heal herself in time. No, she can't. Yeah, we'll do this. Get a uh, Rika win. She can have a. Uh, she can just get haste onto Kamari, and then we'll take Lulu out and put you Lu um, Yuna in. There we are. Um, and then we will summon. Just standard summon. We, uh, we don't need to be too particularly fancy here. All about decisions. We know we can do this. We know we can beat this guy. Just gotta hope it doesn't go on an energy race spamming spree. Although, even to be fair, even now, if it does, we can largely manage. We've got um, Yuna or Lulu. They can both got max health. They both will survive the energy race shot. And they'll both get to her. Especially Yuna will be okay because she's got good enough speed. Lulu's is a bit slow. And the problem is as well with Lulu, is that, yeah, she can survive the shot, but it's kind of like, she can do that, but she's got no offensive, uh, she's slower than Yuna, and she's not really got any offense, because um, Veilfor's magic defense is too high to do anything, and she hasn't got any use commands or anything like that, so Lulu's kind of a just-take-a-shot sort of person at the moment, which isn't really a great place to be. Would have been nice to get the trio, but I think we've just got to go for this. Yep. Just do the damage. Trio would be good to get the 120,000, but it's just do do about like maybe like 50 ish, 50, 60. I mean, the only reason I did it at the start is because it was a liberty. <laughs> it's a bit more serious now. The business end of this. Yeah, 50,000 damage still. That's still quite nice. Mail Force still, um, still posing there a little bit. So we'll do if we X Potion Yuna. And then we'll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a, you know, if it's going to uh, use Energy Ray, we'll just take the shot, basically, with Lulu. And if it physically attacks, then we take the shot. I was a bit of a, a sitting-ish sort of duck. Um, 
I'm not even 100% sure exactly what it was, but it was a uh, just take 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 some punishment sort of thing, really. Oh, that's annoying. She won't get the uh, won't get a second turn in, which isn't great. Do it differently then. Keep Riku out. Uh, can she white magic and get a turn in? No, she can't, but... Never mind. Oh, I need the, um... The, uh... The overdrive with... Right, okay, so now what? There's not really any point in attacking. There must be a better choice than that. Do I get Kamari in? He's not got a lot of life. That is too risky. Get you in room. Gonna have to. Do you have shell on you, my dear? You do not! You probably wouldn't survive Energy Ray without it! Wasn't that a good spot? We'd have been dead without it! Nearly dead anyway! My god, that was close! So, Phoenix down, Lulu! And then just X potion yourself, basically. Nothing I can do. If it's going to keep using energy ray, it's going to keep using it. And I've just got to keep doing the same thing. If it doesn't, then we can start progressing. So we can Phoenix down. Yuna or Nah I want Walker to be the beneficiary of the um Well uh, let's see if I do it this way again I've got, if I do that with Hyper Mighty G again all I'm dodging is is back to back energy rays basically. Is that a chance I'm willing to take? Short answer is yes. Unfortunately, this is a game of chance. And if it's gonna do it, it's gonna do it. And it didn't do it. Didn't want it going for Walker though, that was not really what I wanted him to do. Mm, that's a problem. We will get Yuna in now, and... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Hmm, this is a... This is a good spot. Well, we need haste, so... Right. Back-to-back -back energy rays is all we're dodging. One in nine chance of it doing it. It didn't do it. We well, got options. Mayor Phoenix obviously is the first choice. Couldn't get another. No, I didn't think we'd get another turn. Fears. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use Hyper Mighty, and if it energy raises me again, it's you know it's kind of a bit pointless. So. Focus and see what it will do. Is that on Lou? Yeah, that's. I can live with that result. Right, so Phoenix. Oh no, actually, hold on a second. Need two sets of turns. Oh, of course, he's not on haste, is he? Which 
Sasha will win. Okay. It's an awkward point this though, because I want to be trying to do more damage, but we're just kind of a bit stuck here a bit. Again. It does happen a bit. Uh, Hyper Mighty. No! Oh, goodness me! Don't do that! Oh, my goodness me. Been doing this for too long, I think, folks. <laughs> All about decisions. This is not really the decision I want to make, but it's the one I feel I have to. And that's not a great result. Not what I wanted him to do, that. That is a bad result. Well, at least Riku's got her overdrive straight away, but... You know, still not great. Well, seeing this Yuno's got the turn, we might as well stamina tonic and then use Megalix. So then at least, if he wants to use bat to bat, then Lulu will survive it as well. Which at least saves the Mega Phoenix. We got a lot more Mega Elixirs than Mega Phoenixes. Well, use it on Lulu anyway, but you know, that is what it is. Right, so we take um, Yuna out, because we're going to be using Hyper Mighty. I believe we'll be doing that. Oh, I could use Walker. Hmm. That would be aggressive. Um, trio there. I don't think that's the right decision. They're right there. They, they, they're not, you can't always make the right decision in these games, but you can certainly make the wrong one sometimes. Right, so now what? Oh, goodness me. Um... Again, you gotta ask yourself, what do you not want him to do? What would you rather he did do? We'll go for it. Take the shot. You need to get back to dealing damage, to be fair. We're um, falling behind him. We just, you know, sometimes you can just deal loads, and then sometimes you just go through little periods where you just can't get much offense in. Just gotta weather the storm. Wait for a bit of an opportunity. Oh, it's wavering. Oh, and he has gone for Walker. That was not a bad result. That's more or less what I wanted him to do, that. More or less. Either that or Riku. Riku I could have lived with as well, to be fair. Riku actually might have been probably a slightly better, but anyways. Overdrive time, so of course, next summon. How many of these we got left? Uh, we've still got four. Right, uh, Shiver. You can come to play next. And you can see, Fail 4 is starting to struggle. And even though, say, we haven't been able to get much damage dealt um, any time recently, it's all that damage at the start meant we could afford to just weather the storm a bit and still not be sort of, you know, falling behind. You know, we're through three Aeons now. The problem is, as I say, once you run out of Aeons, you've got to start being a bit more creative about um, how you're going to survive Energy Blast, i.e. you've just got to auto-life everyone. So if you don't have auto-life, you're pretty damn screwed. But Aeons is the way you've got to go. Because I know Energy Raid doesn't affect its... Uh, I'm pretty sure en it using Energy Raid doesn't affect how quick it's attacked, so I believe Energy Blast is a little bit. Not much. Um, no, actually, that's not a good decision. Yep, if we can get the turn in, that'd be nice. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a 
it is dangerous to do that. We'll get Riku in. This, the, this the makes more sense out of the lot. More Supreme Gems. Again, you know, nice 10,000 damage. It all adds up. I say he is struggling. Now, you will Kamari. Should really have Kamari in so I can try and get another Nova shot. Then what am I going to do with you for this turn? That's the problem. Well, not really anything I can do with him. But I need him to kind of try and get his overdrive, so... Change weapons, and... That is an interesting result. Well, I, I wanted Nova and I got it. I suppose I should really use it, shouldn't I? <laughs> I went to all that trouble to get it. Oh, God, Nova looks pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Lovely damage. Right, okay. So, we need to get Yuna in now. Really do. Three arms left. It's probably not wise. I don't know if I'm going to beat... Because we have to do another Storm Weathering. We need the Aeons so we've got the time to do it. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're just going to throw things at it for the moment and just do a bit more de extra damage. So it's going to be a couple of Supreme Gems. Do that 20,000 damage. Say, there's no point just taking turns and not doing anything with them. If we've got the opportunity, we attack. You know, that 20, 30,000 damage could make all the difference at the end. In those dying seconds. Oh, and it is Kamari. Okay, I guess. Not really what I wanted. Not too sure what it is I did want there, to be fair, but um, at any rate. Right, we'll get haste on Kamari, and we'll probably take him out the attack for now. Right, okay, so we will... Is, how much health has Loon got? Is she, can she get the max health? I'm assuming she can't. No, not yet. I need, to, I need to, a couple of turns before I can do that. Um, Another Supreme Gem, I guess. I'm so glad I got um, used for Yuna. That has proved it. so effective. But be careful of this, though. Of course, it is driving its over uh, drive meter up quite highly up as well. Whoa, 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 whoa! Actually, if it's going to do it, it's going to do it. So, we'll do even more aggressive. We'll throw another one at it, and then we'll change Kamari out for Yuna and bring the Aeon on. It suddenly got, that overdrive major suddenly got fuller and fuller, and it's got so close to being full, I thought, sod it, we might as well just fill it out completely. So, let's get Bahamut in. We'll have to Grand Summon in so he can use his Mega Flare. Get in there, folks. We're just niggling away in its health. Slowly but surely. 
side. It's a good opportunity as well to get the Grand Summon because there is more delay on Yuna's turn. But both Tyrus and Riku are there, are in, are active and on haste, so we should be okay. If it was just like you know, let Yuna is sort of on her own in a bad spot, we probably couldn't get away with Grand Summon, but we can here. So we we'll use Bahamut now while we can. Otherwise, we'd miss out on his Mega Man, which is like you know about 20, 30 thousand damage. Because then I've, I've have to use, I probably have to use Impulse um, just so I actually hit Veil for him. His physical attack will probably miss. See there, Yuna wouldn't have got her turn, so you know. Right, so now what we could do, we could get Lulu and give get her to max health, but then the only thing I'm, I'm hoping for is that Riku gets here. Again, it's asking a lot. What's the alternative? I just go with Waka and just get some physical attacks in? And miss? <laughs> and miss? Might as well. Keep up that damage. Unfortunately, we're at a stage now where I don't think we're going to get too many massive attacks in, so... We've just got to get these little ones in as and when we can. Uh, just use focus, just in case Yuna does need it to survive an energy rate properly. She may or may not need to. Ah, I guess it hit there. Only 7,000, that's... Oh, it's of course Waka. Oh no! Waka's um, damage he deals is dependent on how much health he's got. Uh, max health, he does more damage. I forgot about that. Mm. It's not good. Right, well, we're going to have to get Yuna sorted out. So, we'll get her on haste so she gets the turn. Use the stamina tonic. Whoever it is. We'll get Walker on a Mega Elixir, which might be actually alright, to be fair, because it also gives him max health, so he can suddenly start doing more damage. There's a, there's a bonus. And then Yuna... Um, you need shell, don't you, so you survive. Otherwise, you won't. And even then, it's pretty damn close. Oh, it is Riku. Which is probably as good a result as I was likely to get. You need to check who's on order. Um, so, you are... Lulu may or may not be. Lulu is. But needs kind of sorting out. Right. So what we do now... Could do, but without Trio, it's going to be pretty ineffective, to be fair. I'd need Trio to do that, and... That would be a pretty ballsy proposition. <laughs> At this stage of the game. Alternately, do I have Yuna in? I need something so I can survive um, an energy rate that comes. So we will focus. And we might just attack. Sonic Wings on Riku, I think. Interesting. Uh, getting nervous here. We're, we're not we're getting close. I tell you what. I probably would use Trio, but it's not. this isn't really a good time to do that, to be honest. It's, it's a bit reckless at this point. So I'll do. Is I'm going to use spare change to get the ten fat, get the ten thousand damage in. And I knew its overdrive mage was going to go really high, so then we're going to bring Yuna back in and another summon. And it's going to have to be Ixion. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, we've only got Yojimbo after this. Oh my god. We're going to be cutting this fine. I tell you what, we might almost get to a point where I might just have to go aggressive. And just super aggressive and just hope it, I kill it. This is, um... This is a... a I, don't, I haven't been keeping great check on much of it's got, but it ain't got that much. I mean, it's been pretty wounded for a little while. Oh dear. And I tell you, folks, all this... All this because I didn't get a Destruction Sphere in the Versailles Temple at the start of the game. Here we are, 40 videos later. Still paying for it. We're going aggressive. We're going aggressive. We're getting this slot shot in. And we're going to see where it gets us. Oh no, not a Lunar Curtain. This is... Very risky. At this late stage of the game, we are going for it all. Sometimes, you just have to roll the dice one last time. Yes! We did it! Yeah! Motherfuckers! We did it. Oh my god! Stay away from the More reused lines! Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. did it! No superpower party! No Yojimbo! No Zanmato! Just grit, determination, and the balls to risk it all for the prize! Oh, we got it as well. I am absolutely... I, I'm not even sure what the words are. Thank God we've done it. That was brutal. That was as you would. L that was not my only attempt at that. There were others, and that's where I. A few times I went defensive, and I just kept running out of time. And I thought, no, you've just, you've just got to go for it. You know, it's like, you know, it's like we're Wimbledon going on now. You're against a player. Far better than you. Sometimes you've just got to risk it all. And go for your shots. And just play with no fear. And with absolute courage. Otherwise you're just going to get walked over. Because they're just too good. We are so, so saving the game. Holy Jesus. That's what I get for not bloody getting this sphere 40 video go videos ago. Absolute misery.
better leave before I notice you. Oh, can I not actually... We can't actually enter the temple yet because we need to progress the story slightly. We need to go to the high bridge in order to um, in order to actually um, we need to go to the high bridge in order to carry on the story. Yeah, because the same if you try to go into Jose Temple, for example, you'll get kicked out. So although we've cleared the entrance to here, we can't actually get into the temple until we continue the story. Um, so, what I am going to have to do is, next video, because this has gone on way much longer, courtesy of all that fighting. What is that I got hold of as well? Wow, Riven! Awesome. Is, uh, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X... Uh, I suppose it is probably about time as well, anyways, that we actually um, dealt, got on with the story just a little bit more. Um, because doing that will allow us to actually enter all the temples. Um, I completely forgot we can't do that right now. Um, because we haven't visited the High Bridge yet, so we will have to do that. And then when we do that, um, we will then uh, carry on. Um, we'll head here. Get the destruction sphere. We'll then go back to um, Barge, and we will find out what has been waiting for us inside, and what we have gone through so much misery to to get hold of, folks. Oh my God! Thank you all so 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 much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, I need to lie down.